Hello. Welcome to another story of World War II veterans. My name is Kayleen Reeser, and each week I'm bringing you a story from a book in my World War II Legacies series. Today's story will be from the second book, They Did It for Honor, Stories of American World War II Veterans. Today's story will be about Army Soldier Frank Garrison. Among the items issued to Frank Garrison as part of his military service was one with four legs and it could bray. Garrison, born in 1922 in Montpelier, Indiana, and all of the other soldiers assigned to the 124th Cavalry were issued mules. We needed them to cross more than 200 miles of hazardous terrain in Burma, he said. Drafted into the Army in 1943, Garrison quickly picked up the nickname Red because of his russet hair. After two months of training in Whitehorse, Alaska, Garrison returned to Seattle in June of 1943 for a 15-day furlough. He used the time to marry Mildred Ellen Fear. She had traveled from his hometown to meet him in Seattle. After the wedding, Mildred returned to Indiana while Garrison prepared to fight overseas. At Port Los Angeles in California, Garrison, along with 8,000 troops and 1,000 crew members, set sail on the USS Hermitage. We didn't know where we were headed, he said. We just knew it was somewhere in the Pacific. The ship stopped for supplies at the island of Bora Bora in the Pacific Ocean. During the voyage and throughout the war, Garrison heard complaints about the poor quality of food, but he never complained. I knew what it was to be hungry during the Depression, he said. Through the fall of 1943, the Hermitage sailed around Australia and Madagascar. In India, the troops boarded a train with wooden spoke wheels. One day, Corporal Garrison read a notice asking for volunteers for what even the ambiguous army stated was a dangerous mission. The notice didn't explain what the mission was, adding only that communication with family members would be limited, he said. Despite being newly married, Garrison signed up for the mysterious duty. He was accepted into the program and became part of the Mars Task Force. The Mars Task Force was given the mission of cleaning northern Burma of Japanese forces and opening the Burma Road for traffic to China. Garrison was assigned to K Troop. They wanted me because I was an expert marksman and I was tall enough to carry a bazooka and a flamethrower, he said. Garrison was also trained as a radio operator. Not all of K Troop's 1,500 mules carried soldiers. Some mules carried artillery pieces for a 75 millimeter cannon, he said. Other mules carried ammunition. The job of transversing, traversing mountainous jungles, swift streams, and rivers in rain and mud at upwards of 15 miles per day was made easier with the mules. It was a dangerous mission as soldiers walked with their heads up, searching the skies for Japanese planes. Every three days, Allied crews of C-47s were scheduled to drop rations for the foot-weary soldiers. Delivery was not reliable, however. They had to drop the packs between 6,000-foot mountains, said Garrison. Some of the foodstuffs included heat-resistant Hershey bars. On at least one occasion, rations didn't arrive for six days. We fed bamboo leaves to our mules while shooting buffalo for food, said Garrison, and that would have been water buffalo. Once we got the supplies, we dug in foxholes and lit fires where the enemy couldn't see us. In January of 1945, Garrison, carrying the com company radio, relayed progress as the 124th engaged in battle with Japanese forces. After two weeks, the Allies' objective was secured. Garrison was thankful for having escaped injury and illness. All of the troops carried morphine tablets and malaria pills in our packs for first aid, he said. On May 8th of 1945, Garrison was working as part of a convoy 
for the Chinese army when news arrived that Axis forces in Europe had surrendered. The Allies' decision to drop atomic bombs on the cities of Nagasaki and Hiroshima prompted the, the surrender of the Japanese emperor in September of 1945. At long last, the war was over. The news thrilled the soldiers of the 124th. We knew Japan could not last much longer, he said. Back in Indiana, Garrison worked as an industrial pipe fitter. He and Mildred became parents to six children. Frank Garrison received four battle stars for his military service. I never had any doubt we had to serve in the war, he said. I wanted to do it. Again, this was Frank Garrison's story. Here's um, a picture from his page of the Mars, Mars Task Force patch. This is from my book, They Did It for Honor, Stories of American World War II Veterans. Please leave a comment, ring the bell, subscribe to the channel, and tell a veteran thank you for his or her service. See you next week.